Hello my angels and devils and all who may wonder here, it is Amanda Christina and I am here with a quick tutorial now. I cannot remember the channel's name for the life of me right now of where I learned this from but she does it with a scoreboard. I am literally um, going to show you how I just f um, fold a tea pocket. The first thing I do is you fold your paper. So this is a it looks like about a six inch square to me and that's what I usually use is a six inch square of paper. The spotlight papers are actually quite good for the, not spotlight, the reject shop papers are quite good. There's a new um, sugar and spice unicorn thing that I'm just jonesing for loads of because you know me and unicorns and magical things and you know. <laughs> so what I do is I just fold it corner to corner first, open it out and then what I do is just to get the center I line these pieces up and I just put a little mark here you don't need it all the way along because that's going to be your top and your and your other fault so what you do is it's so easy like when you see how easy this is you're just going to be like oh my god it's so easy okay so I tend to bring this a bit over the halfway mark and you, you want to line your fold lines up and then fold and I am going very slow with this like I can sit here and knock out a fair few of these and then what I try and do is just look for it to be as even as possible at the side and then I just go here I'm not very good at straight so this may not be a hundred percent perfect and then you just fold it up how long did that take <laughs> a minute or so and it's this one's a little wonky I don't I try not to stress it because I still think they're super cute so let's do another one let's take another sheet of this gorgeous paper that I haven't used yet let's take this beautiful dark floral I'm really getting into the dark florals at the moment there's some gorgeous dark floral pages and I'm just knocking this little teeth so again Fold it in half, corner to corner, as best you can. I try and get it as close to the corner, each corner as I can. And so sometimes that's just a... And then I just burnish it with my finger. I mean, as I said, there is... I will link the tutorial where you do this on your scoreboard, but there is still some of this kind of folding in it. And also hers stands up. I didn't do mine as a standing one because I wanted to... Oh, hang on. I wanted to do it for Happy Mail. I didn't do my, so I just do a bit of a fold in the center. As I said, because these are your top bits, I try, I mean, you can, it won't matter if there's a line up there. I just try not to put the line in it. Okay, so again, I go across, making sure to line up that point with that. Okay, that might be a little too far. So just working it back to roughly where I want it. That looks about right. And if you are worried you're going to fold it too far, you can pop your little tea bag in just to see. Um, this is really good for the pre-packaged tea bags. Now, I do not know why when I do this, sometimes one side looks more even than the other. But, okay, so we just bring. It just seems to be I get one side really perfect and one side not so perfect. And then you fold it up. And that could just be me. I sometimes feel like things look wonkier than they are. And then you have it. And then what I do is sometimes just put a little bit of adhesive in there just to hold it together. And you've got your little double tea pocket. It is that easy. What was that? Four minutes and we made two of them slowly. So you can see how easy that would be. A little hundred pack like this from Daiso would give you a hundred tea pockets, which is enough for 200 little tea bags, which would be really nice little party favour, wedding favour. Um, they're great for friend mail. This is how I package my tea for friend mail. Um, I just think it's a really nice thing and as you can see you can depending on where you fold it over depends on the size you get so anyway let me know below if you're going to try this and as I said I will make sure to link the original tutorial and they'll click the i button and I'll make sure to have the original person's channel because she has a lot of really cool ideas for fair craft fairs and stuff so there's a lot of really good ideas where you use up like a whole section of your stash Anyway, I will talk to you soon, my angels and devils. Remember, as always, you are amazing, you are incredible, and yes, you truly do matter. Bye, all.